Bright, good evening to you, viewers. How are you? How was your day? I trust you had a good Sunday. Again, we are pleased to be with you. This is the Church of a Nazarene Baptist District Family Forum. And again, I have with me my co host, Reverend Kelman. It's good to be here again this, this afternoon. So how how was your day, Reverend Kelman? Well, you know, uh, mm -hmm. my days are always challenging. Yes, yes. But uh -huh. also, I experienced the, the grace and goodness of God. Amen. And that's what makes a difference. Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. Well, uh, viewers, we want to continue our focus um, on marital infidelity. But today we are going to zero in on how do we rebuild trust once that trust is broken and parties are willing to work on the relationship um, after maybe the relationship has been, uh, the problem has been exposed and they want to work on the relationship and we build trust, how can that happen? And then of course, what are perhaps some of the things they can do? And maybe initially, how can, what are some of the things that tell their signs when, when a problem is beginning to um, present itself that we can see and address it early mm -hmm. rather than waiting until things have decayed. So these are some things that we want to share, we want to share with you. I trust you would invite a friend or family member to come and let's share. Again, we want to improve family life. Um, we believe that infidelity can happen to anyone. That's the problem. Sometimes persons think that they are immune from it. And when we think that way, that's giving the devil room to move into a relationship. That's right. Any of us can be victims in this area. Let us pray. Father, we thank you again for this facility that we can discuss issues that relate to the family. Today, as we focus um, the whole area of marital infidelity and how we can rebuild relationships that are broken, where trust is, not, is more or less null, or nil, and how can we rebuild trust with your help? Pray you will guide us as we share in this presentation today. This is my prayer for Christ's sake. Amen. Now viewers, back with you in a moment as we continue to talk about marital infidelity as we zero in on rebuilding trust in a broken relationship. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, welcome back to you. And uh, as we continue this very uh, important discussion, and I want to begin with sharing uh, what are some of the indicators of, of infidelity. Now, let me start with a disclaimer and to say that uh, these may all be in evidence in the relationship, but there may be no cheating. Mm -hmm. or, yes, that's right. or you may not have any of these in the relationship, mm -hmm. but they're still cheating. So, mm -hmm. so these are not, I don't want persons to start to, you know, survey the relationship <laughs> um, by using these particular. And chasing down your husband, right, you or know, chasing down your wife. wife right? yeah. All right, but just know these are possible. typical yes. or possible indicators. Yes. Okay? Yes. okay. And uh, the first one is, of course, um, unexplained absences. Uh, where the person is not at home and uh, they can't really give a, uh, a an account as to as to where they were. Mm -hmm. All right, um, and and that recurs. And, and the constant. Yeah. And then let me also say that these are these are issues of behavioral change as well. Yes. So the person is alone normally, you know, is at home uh, most most in most evenings, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all of a sudden there's, there's a behavioral change. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. This is what it is at, at home weekends yeah. and now you're not at weekends at home anymore. Mm -hmm. right, so emotional, uh, sorry, um, absences, absences, and the second one, um, uh, emotional distance. Mm -hmm. So you know, once upon a time, the person, your partner was the kind of very, very loving and affectionate person, but now touchy, touchy. Uh -huh. You know, they haven't, they haven't even touched you within mm -hmm. the last mm -hmm. uh, few weeks. You know, mm -hmm. um, the, all the nice nothings are, are not being said anymore. They've so, tried up. Yeah, so <laughs> there's mm -hmm. a, a some emotional distance, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one, um, unexplained conflicts. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, all of a sudden, 
Um, there's a plethora of conflicts in the relationship, you know, and uh, you're not sure where they're coming from because mm -hmm. there's nothing that has really changed per se, you know, yeah. how you, um, what, what's happening. You can't even put your finger on what, what yes, caused it, yes, absolutely. what a conflict is. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And the fourth one, um, an overabundance of affection. Mm -hmm. So it can go... That's the opposite, right? Yeah. yeah. Up to, um, the pendulum swings. Sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Polarities, really. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, so I want to say there can be a level of, of absence of affection mm -hmm. and then an overabundance of gifts because the person is, is responding to their They're own, almost flooded. Their own guilt, mm -hmm. right? So they're, they're trying to soften how soften. they feel. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a whole, you know, sharing of, of affection mm -hmm. and gifts and stuff because... Yeah. They really reacted to their own sense of guilt, mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, the fifth one, a new focus on appearance. You know, where the person all of a sudden <coughs> change their wardrobe, you know, bend your dresses, your shirts, you know, um, mm -hmm. maybe even change their car, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And, um, and it's not necessarily a midlife crisis, you mm -hmm. know. Okay. Uh, the person over, just, over here style. Yeah, here style. The person. Yeah. Very, very, very meticulous all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it can be explained in any other way mm -hmm. than the, maybe mm -hmm. there's some other um, person out there that they're kind of trying to, mm -hmm. to, to woo or to, or to connect with. But as you said, yeah. you're not saying to people that this is the case. No, we're not it may be that. an enlightenment, <laughs> something new. Yeah, but we're saying possibilities. Because the end of a, of a case, um, <coughs> uh, Farley, where uh, this couple lived together for many, many years, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and they were always at home in the evening after work. They both, uh, and this, 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 is a, this is an overseas experience they've had, mm -hmm. you know. And when, when he died, a, a third child turned up, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, so the point I'm making here is that that now these animals were present in that, in that, in that marriage, yes, but yes. still mm -hmm. there was that sense of infidelity yeah. clearly, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Um, so, 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 so I don't want a person to go there and start to look around, look around, you know, yes, uh, yes. difficult in the relationship, put yeah. pressure. But of course, of course, sometimes it's a combination of the issues, mm -hmm. or in addition to some of those issues, there could be other things happening, mm -hmm. you know. So it's the whole idea of assessment, right? Yeah. Yes. And connectivity and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a question we want to ask, though. I mean, and of course, there are other, other, other ones. Of course, to, but of course. Give you, mm -hmm. um, you know, six of them there. Mm -hmm. Perhaps lane. Right. Lane. Lane. Yeah, yeah. lane. Lane all of a sudden. Or, or finances as well, too. Yes. The fact that the person is not able to manage their finances as, mm -hmm. as efficiently as before. Yes. And uh, because it, it's I can't going, say where the money is going. It's going other, it's going other places, you know? Yes, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. right. But there's a question that I think is important for us to, to answer, though, uh, or, to, or to speak to. <coughs> um, and it has to do, though, with, with someone who has been unfaithful, um, but their partner is unaware. Mm -hmm. You know, they've come to their, to, to, to their, to their senses, mm -hmm. you know, where this is not what I want for my life. This lying and cheating and hiding thing mm -hmm. is not what is, you know, is, is you know, I don't want to be part of it at all. Mm -hmm. Right? And so they've made a change. To stop. To st yes, they've mm -hmm. stopped. Mm -hmm. The question, though, is should they still tell their partner, mm -hmm. or once they have stopped, does that mean then that they just simply go on with their life. building their marriage as, mm -hmm. as, as they ought to? Mm -hmm. uh, because that question is often asked mm -hmm. by persons, you know, what, what, what do I do in yeah. that sort of situation? I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. You know? So do I still need yeah. to say? Yeah. The, only problem, the only problem there um, for transparency, I mean, even if you decide that you have to tell the person, I think the timing is important. Mm -hmm. um, and then what is your motive for telling them? Mm -hmm. um, and, and, I, and is, that, is, that, is it fair? Is it fair for me to assuage my guilt mm -hmm. by, by, by putting on you a burden now? Well, I agree. You know? But the, the problem is that if I may, suppose I say I'm not going to say anything. But they still find out. For some reason, they may find remnants of a letter or you might find something weeks after, maybe even a year or two after. Um, and then you look back, you say, you know, it was so, but I stopped. Mm -hmm. So the question is, mm -hmm. why didn't you say something? I, I suppose they tell them, mm -hmm. and that creates a new fair storm. Yeah, but that's true. That, that, that destroys the marriage. But I, and that is possible. Beyond, beyond, um, that, beyond, that is beyond possible. That's why he said, I think you have to really pray about that. <laughs> and, ask, and ask for God's guidance. <laughs>
But the whole idea of transparency is too critical. Because yeah. somewhere down the, down the road, as it says, it might come out. Yeah. And then that can even cause great repercussions. Yeah. It's, it's, it, I must say there's no easy answer to that question. There's no easy answer, yeah. you know, and, yeah. um, and I, I know that. But it's a reality. Persons are on different self-defense where it's yes. concerned. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, and I'm sure that, that many of us have seen it happen mm -hmm. in both ways mm -hmm. where it has happened, yeah. you've stopped it, God's forgiven yes. you, yes. and you go on living and mm -hmm. building your marriage and it yes. never happens again. Yes. You know, and you know cases where a person have, has happened, mm -hmm. you've told your partner, mm -hmm. and the marriage is over. Yeah. You know, yeah. But you see, Reverend Kelman, the problem, when they say transparency is critical, you may not tell. But let's say the person who you were involved with got angry, or that person get messy, and picks up the phone or writes a letter explaining what happened three years ago. They might have promised you. Ten years ago. They might have promised you, I'm not going to say anything. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, they say perhaps they want to come back into your life, and, and you said no. Mm -hmm. Sometimes these are realities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so which is which is worse? Yeah. Do 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 I tell or wait until it's told and then the consequences? Yeah, and, and, and that's 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 the risk that you take. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Um that's the risk that you take. Uh, but but like I said though, I mean it, it, it goes it can go both yeah. ways because yeah. because to tell can result in yes. The end of death yeah. of the marriage. You know, when, when, as, as we discuss this, it says to me, you know what? The best thing is not to get involved in the first place. And you're right. Yeah. You, know, you avoid all that hell. And, and to create systems as yes. well, you know, in terms of your but, own. Reverend Kelly, you know, if I don't tell, you know that we are human beings. And trained in a way, although it's not happening, trying to keep that secret can drive some people crazy. Yeah. I, 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 think, I think persons <laughs> have to be, have to be, Aware of self, yeah, and um, because if, if I believe the Rebel Farley that Christ has washed away my sin mm -hmm. and I'm free, mm -hmm. um, then there's no longer any guilt, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, I'm sure the question will be raised is the issue of accountability, yeah. And not only that, there's some scars that were there, yeah, there's some, there's some maybe a family that was broken, yes, um, there, there's some situations where. Uh, I, I have hurt some people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the whole idea of um, David when he realized in the case with Bathsheba, mm -hmm. you know, but he was king. And that's the case with power now, you know. But no, but no, that David did, mm -hmm. they, they confess, you know. They confess. They confess. But after, it's after Nathan came. Came to him, yes. And Nathan said, listen, man, uh -huh. you messed up here. You messed up. Right? So it was only open. But that's true. Right? That's true. <laughs> it was only open. That's and true. See, I, I'm not, I'm not on, on either side of the fence. Yeah. Uh -huh. right? um, and I, I believe deeply in transparency uh -huh. mm -hmm. and accountability. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I think but it's something that is worth right. discussing. But we have to understand our relationship as well, too, because... <clears throat> Because to tell me, 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 me your death as well. Yeah, that's also you know, true. Me, your, but it has to do your, your with your knowing the person. Yeah, because your partner may have, yeah. may have, may have a cutlass in the corner. <laughs> and and you've said to you over and over again. Unfortunately. If, if, if ever, mm -hmm. if ever, mm -hmm. you know, there's someone who has yeah. an expected draw. Yeah. These are realities. And she may have said to you, if ever. Realities. Right? So you've got to know your partner as well, too. You yeah, know, realities. Um, and of course, yes, you may argue that. That in itself is an, it's an unhealthy relationship. Yeah. If persons be like that, mm -hmm. but but we, we know that the reality on the ground. Yes, these are things that happen. Huh? Happens. Yes. Yeah. yes. But um, we are we going to zero in now on some <laughs> yeah interesting <laughs> discussion. There's no clear answer no clear one way or the other. And I said the best thing is not get involved in the first place. <laughs> but but we're going to look at some of the ways that we can rebuild. Mm -hmm. And I I would want to say um, going back to the David um, issue. Mm -hmm. um, the, the principle that I want to zero in on is um, admission mm -hmm. that there's a problem, right? I just want to read a verse, two verses here from, Philipp, from um, Psalm 51. This psalm is often known um, to be written by David in response mm -hmm. to the sin he committed with Bathsheba. I just want to read a few verses. He said, Have mercy on me, O God. Psalm 51, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me 
from my sin. For I know my transgression, and my sin is always before me. And he continues by saying in verse 4, Against you only I have sinned. Against you only. And then, of course, lower, lower down in the passage, it says, You do not delight in sacrifice. In verse 16 and 17, Or I would give it, I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. And in essence, we are saying, acknowledging that I have committed an, an offense is a problem because sometimes people try to explain it and blame the other party and there's no acknowledgement of wrong. And then, am I truly sorry? Because sometimes this person was with it, and they're not sorry. There's no remorse. Uh, let me let me say though that the the, <coughs> the the offending party should accept responsibility for what they have done. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm very 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 clear about that. Accountability. Uh, yeah. In terms of accountability. For, for things to I, start. Right. And 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 whether or not you you think your partner was was not sexually appealing, whether or not you think that there was a conflict in the house, mm -hmm. uh, whatever your reasons are, the fact is that you're the person who broke yes. um, the, 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 the covenant. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the because they'd be saying, well, you, you, you caused that, you weren't you spending time with me, I, I, I realized you were, you were drunk, once, drunk once, in your once, work. Once you start there, yes. you are creating for yourself yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. almost a, a right to do what you did. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. um, there must be an element of this, I, I, I messed up, mm -hmm. I betrayed the, 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 the trust of the relationship, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That has to be clearly mm -hmm. stated. Yes. Uh, and clearly, uh, clearly. To begin a new process of rebuilding. Of rebuilding. Yes. And, and I also suggest that there must be a commitment as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not just to discontinue mm -hmm. that relationship, but also to begin to to build on your on your, on your, on your marriage relationship. Rebuild, well. yeah, rebuild the relationship, yeah. and, and, mm -hmm. and that commitment um, must become the basis of the gift of forgiveness. Yes. And I, I call it a gift because when someone has betrayed the trust of a relationship, they cannot ever demand. Demand or, or earn the trust of, the, of, the, of, their, of their partner, because because every issue or event will will in some ways trigger a memory of what has yes, happened. Yes. I mean, I mean, the, the idea of of, of of infidelity can be very traumatic to yes. the persons in the relationship, especially the the, 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 the uh, innocent party. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I say innocent. In very common. Yes. You know, um, mm -hmm. I mean, to think that your your partner. You know, um, loves and cares for you, and then to discover that that person was loving and caring for somebody else mm -hmm. uh, can can really be a destructive force in, yeah. in people's emotional. And sometimes, uh, to what health. can worsen the situation is the length of time. And, Persons and, have known to have cheated for five, six years, yeah. ten years. And the person so yeah. was the best friend. Yes, you know, but that's that's very serious. Yes, yeah. if the person was the somebody who who knew your partner so well. It can say top friends, in yes, very commas, yes. and this has happened. Yes. So it just shows us that um, we should be careful not to let our guard down, be careful of our boundaries. Uh, we can have a good friendship, mm -hmm. but there still have to be boundaries. If I'm a married person, mm -hmm. you're a married person, or you're not, I may be married, you may not be married, mm -hmm. but the fact that boundaries are critical, mm -hmm. um, I, I, we have to know how far. And as, as well, we, we've not mentioned, I mean, and at I'm speaking, speaking very generally, I can say because mm -hmm. I know that because of what they do, you know, persons can become very, uh, very sensitive. Um, so this is a general discussion, but of course. but even in terms of authority of, of um, the, the partner becoming um, a same-sex partner as well, yes. you know, mm -hmm. um, that also can be a very... A very um, hard blow for individuals. So, mm -hmm. so, so the I call it the gift of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, that you know your partner has said, okay, you know I've messed up. I, I, I've taken full responsibility. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then you give that person the gift. You know mm -hmm. you say that that person, okay, it is painful. It's not going to go away, but I I am going to forgive you. You mm -hmm. know I, I I want to begin to trust you again. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the healing process. But Reverend Kelman, that is not easy. And I think you really need God's help to, to forgive people. And there are times when persons 
breach. There's a breach in a relationship. They say because obviously this happens in, in Christian couples as well. Right. Is, 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 and, 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 and I'm, I'm going to from, from, from a different perspective because mm -hmm. some persons will argue you've got to, to, to prove Mm -hmm. That you're faithful for me to forgive you. Yes, that's right. It. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I will forgive you, but I can see that you are. Yeah, yeah. You're serious or sincere. But that, 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 that is a roadblock. That's a roadblock. Yeah, you need that's to be roadblock. able to, to release the person. That's a roadblock. No, it's not automatic, Krishna right. or not. Right. Make a commitment. You, you mentioned com commitment just now. That's right. A mutual commitment to work on it. Right. So you have to begin to give the person a chance. For example, if you decide. Stop searching your phone then. Right. Stop checking your so, phone. So, so the, the, it's a physical one. Yeah, You're custom checking your phone. That's the point. Stop checking your phone. Yeah. So that the forgiveness has mm -hmm. to be walked out in walked the relationship. Out. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. um, Work through. But there must be that intent yes. to forgive the person. To begin the process. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm big <coughs> on that though. And don't, don't forget, I said to begin the process. That's right. And, I, and here, there's no entitlement. Yes. Because I figure that out. Oh, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian. I have that wrong. You have the Right to forgive me, the Bible says so. And that's, that, that's a serious law. Yeah. Because, because at the end of the day, you know, you've hurt that person, you know, tremendously. Mm -hmm. Right? And, uh, and, and, and forgiveness and healing mm -hmm. um, yes. needs to occur. I mean, yes. you, you go for a surgery, mm -hmm. the surgeon cuts so they, 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 um, they, they affect the part, mm -hmm. but then it's a process of healing. Yeah, because although the surgeon was saying, well, the successful. successful, it's the process of healing. You don't just get off the operating table, if it's a very big operation, and just go back the next day as usual, no. unless it was slight. No, not at all. I mean, even sometimes a slight operation. Can't so things so, so you know what? Yes. Forgiveness is like an operation. That's right. An operation. It's about making. Yeah. yeah. It, to, to start the process, yes. I should say. Yes. It's an operation. And, and, Forgiveness and is a big thing. It's a big thing. Big yeah. thing. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and the healing process occurs thereafter. Yes. You know, um, mm -hmm. the, the sense of doubt sometimes, sadness. Uh, but because mm -hmm. you're committed to... But what about, what about timing? Because that's another factor. Uh, okay, I'm the one who offended. I'm the one who offended. And I say, okay, you have agreed to forgive. Um, so I see two, a month gone, a year gone, and I start saying, why well, you really isn't forgiving? It takes a while, man. It, that's the point. Yeah, it takes a while, and, and I, I don't think you put a time element to it. Exactly. Right? Um, there may be phases, you mm -hmm. know, for example, mm -hmm. initially may want to know about this person. Yes. You know, and, and, and every now and again, there are questions that we ask. I know tell persons mm -hmm. that it is the structure what I call a big tell all, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the journey. You yeah. know, um, because if, if you. We can offload right, stuff. If you keep. Picking that stuff mm -hmm. constantly, mm -hmm. and you know, as my grandpa would tell me, you know, if you keep picking pick, pick, pick at the wound, mm -hmm. it can turn out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But here's and it. Here's so, it. So, 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 the point I'm making is that, <laughs> is that even though you may you may ask questions about mm -hmm. the part, but the person, where they talk, where they short, where they fall, maybe they saw about that. Those questions, I, I think, it comes a point in time when uh, to continue that. Yes. Will will keep inflaming. Yes. Um, yes. The, the wound of. of but people will say to you, I I I, I can't handle the big tell all. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you get enough energy, I will come with another question. But the point you're making is well taken. But you that, have to, you have yeah. to have that time where you offload. Yes, uh, but but that, but that can't go on forever no. in relationships. No, so no, that there, no. there must come a time mm -hmm. when when that does not become uh, a significant part of the healing process. Yes, yes. Right? But they call it physically to the yes, healing process. Yes, that's right. Uh, which we'll be able to mention all of them now. Mm -hmm. uh, so 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 that becomes critical. The gift of forgiveness. Yes. Um, contingent upon a, a mutual commitment mm -hmm. uh, to work through the relationship. Yes. Of course, the, 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 the other element that is so very important is uh, at times having someone to help you in that, in that yes, journey. that's right. You know, um, because the, the, the nature of infidelity can be, can be such that um, the person themselves have to go through a rebuilding process. Yes. You know. And um, their personal life. Their personal life. So some, sometimes an accountability partner who is able to walk with them, how are things going? That's right. You know, how are yes. things going, and, and the person who they can trust, and yes. so on, is yes. critical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and that, that becomes also important as well, uh, seeking some professional engagement. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, you know, the, 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 the betrayal may be so deep yes. as to create for that individual mm -hmm. uh, a sense of such loss mm -hmm. that they need to, to have someone to help. Help, to, yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, if children are impacted, yes. sometimes the children have to be brought into the picture. Yes. And you have family sessions where you can 
help children realize, well, you know, because the children sometimes mm -hmm. um, need to be able to go through this process as well. Mm -hmm. Depends on how, how they may yes, they I mean, take. And, and, um, and it, is, it, is not, it is not big people's stuff. No. As some, as some people want to say. Um, the children are, are involved. involved. They've heard the arguments. Mm -hmm. they have, they've seen. They've seen what's happened. Yeah. And therefore, they too need to be yeah. able uh, to process their own emotions mm -hmm. and to rebuild trust in their, yeah. in their, in their offending period. Because sometimes the offender might have sown that child a secrecy mm -hmm. who found out what was going on. That's so hard for a child to put on that weight on a child. It's difficult. And, and I think, I think about for that when there's infidelity in a family, uh, in, that, in, that kind of, in that context, that the parent should also say, say sorry to the children. The children, of course. Because, of course. because you have betrayed the children's trust yes. in you as a, as a parent. Yes, yes. You know? Um, but the, the good thing about it is that rebellion can happen. Yes, rebellion can happen. And uh, as you said, has to be a commitment from both parties, right. mutual commitment to work on it. It's going to take time. Um, we have to muster the ability to make it work. And then sincerity, yeah. a genuineness mm -hmm. to make the relationship, to bring about many. And sometimes um, you're a counselor, I'm a counselor. And we know sometimes when you find parties who are willing to work, the relationship can end up sometimes even richer. Even better than before. And it was before. But, but one of the things I want to kind of comment on very, 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 time is the element of anger. Yes. Right? And um, one, of the, one of the challenges of, of, of the building process is, is the anger that's a bit anger issue. will occur. Mm -hmm. uh, especially the person who, was, who, who has been offended. Yes. Uh, and, and I normally tell persons that that, that is, a, is, a, is a norm. Yes. You know. Um, so is a managing it? Yes. And if you mentioned earlier on forgiveness, for yes. that gift of forgiveness can help right. the anger can begin help, to but, but diffuse. But, but it, doesn't, it doesn't obviate it because no, no. even if you forgive the person, yes. you still ask the question, nobody did this how, to how, me. How can, how can, how can they? I've worked hard, I've tried my best, yes. and you still do this to me. Yes. Right? So, so understanding that that anger mm -hmm. is a normal part mm -hmm. of, the, of the relationship rebuilding yes. process yes. Yes. is important. And, and also to take a, a, a non-defensive stance, yes. you know. Um, yes, yes, I mean, you've, the, the person has been has been hurt by you, and the yes, the cause of their of their mm -hmm. of their of their hurt, uh, but but not not defending yourself yes, say, all the time. Because mm -hmm. right? once you do that, that's going that's going to kind of reinforce. Yeah. For example, um, it is time you stop this anger. Yeah, it is yeah, time you, know, you forgive me. Just let, let it go. Let it go. Let them get out. Yeah, you know, yes, get that's out, right. You know? Yes. And, so uh, you have to be. That person has to be patient, very patient forbearing. Yes. The, the offender right. um, need tons of energy, and, and the offender themselves must also forgive themselves as well too. Exactly, because if they don't forgive themselves, the issue the person gets angry with them. Yes, yes. It's going to it's throw them back. Throw them back to where yeah. they were before as well too. So well, there's like, well, a lot of stuff involved. <laughs> now, well, this topic is process. amazing. Yeah. A final thought from you, and then a closing prayer. Well, um, like you said, well, Farley, um, it is difficult. But Possible. once you're able to mm -hmm. to, to re-engage and to rebuild, um, the relationship can become even better than before. Yes. Because now you know um, where not to go yes. in terms of learn from your mistake of a journey. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Let's pray. Go ahead. Almighty God, we give you thanks today for your love and for your grace and for your forgiveness as well. Pray God for any couple who may have heard this program and uh, who are caught even in the throes of infidelity. Pray God that your grace will be extended to them at this time. And I pray God that there be forgiveness in the context of their marriage, their relationship. I pray God you will give them the strength and the will and the knowledge to rebuild and to rebuild even stronger. Father, we give you thanks today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. With God's help, you can rebound, rebuild, rebirth. With God's help. God bless you. Hear you next week.